Here with the Lord of the Smoke. That's right. good, Jay. I'm chill, man. What is it, Thursday we getting in there? Thursday, fight week. Yeah, it is fight week. Big fight. Yeah. Canelo Alvarez, Jamel Charlo. Yeah. Has your mind changed about this fight at all? My mind's been spending the entire time thinking about it, trying to figure out who could take advantage of the other. Um, and the only reason it's not clear to me is because Canelo Alvarez has been slowing down. You know what I mean? If we being honest. Um, still a great fighter, still has great skills, still explosive, but for what I have seen, from what I have seen recently, it looked like at times he just, he got, he go in that mood where he don't, I don't really feel like it tonight. Mm -hmm. The reason that's a bad thing on his behalf is because Jamel Charlo feel like it at any point in the time, any point in time in the fight, he could, he could take you out. Now, of course we know Canelo Alvarez isn't the average fighter, but Neither is uh, Jamal Charlo. And Jamal Charlo seems to be excited about fighting at 168 pounds because I think Kent was less about losing weight and more about focusing on the game plan. He seems relaxed. But at the same time, because this is a big fight, because this is a dangerous fight for Canelo, it's like Canelo, he looked like he tapped more into his skill set. He looked like he going to show us a little bit of, you know what I mean? A little bit of tricks we ain't seen from him. You know, he gonna bring some things out. Um, we might see the hand speed again. You know what I mean? Real good hand speed. Of course, the power shots to the body, things like that. A lot of this really, to me though, determines, is determined off of Jamel's temperament. I mean, if you come in there acting crazy, uh, Canelo can make him pay for it. But if you come in there taking his time, Canelo might have a hard time. Most fans have been critical of Jamel's temperament. They wanted to see, you know, the irate, angry, mm -hmm. like explosive Jamel. Mm -hmm. And they're feeling like he's scared because he's not. I feel like I prefer this Jamel in a fight of this magnitude because I, in order for him to be successful, he needs to be calm. Yeah. How do you feel about it? And, I, and that's what I'm saying. I think he found that space fighting at 68 where like, you know what, I ain't gotta act like a maniac, you know what I mean? I know who I'm fighting, I know what they bring to the table. You know I mean, let me save my energy. Plus, he just watched his stable me go through a roller coaster, you know what I mean, of talking shit back and forth and, you know what I mean, what we gonna do, and then it turned out totally opposite. Mm. So maybe, you know what, I don't even wanna go, go about it that way because it don't make sense. Still gotta get in the ring and produce. So I'm gonna save my energy for the fight night. What's your prediction for the fight, Jay? I'm gonna be honest. Canelo is Canelo, man. He could win it for sure. We know that already. But after watching the press conference, after thinking about it over and over again, something's been telling me Jamel gonna pull it off. So I'm gonna pick Jamel by decision. Okay. Pick Jamel by decision. I don't lie, and I ain't gonna lie. To me, Canelo is the better fighter, skill-wise and all that. But Jamel just a nasty dude, man. He gonna keep it up all night. As long as he, you know what I mean? You gotta hurt him. If you don't hurt him, he gonna keep it up. Can Canelo hurt him? Yeah, but I don't think this is that fight. I think I think he gonna be healthy. I think he feel great. I think he been working on some shit. And I see Jamel still in it. Split decision.